Hey everyone, Tone here. I move in less than 30 days. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tone here. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Um, my name is Tone, I do all things productivity, lifestyle, just getting it done when you need to get it done. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so excited. You guys have been on this journey with me before. I've moved plenty of times, but I'm always looking for ways to show you guys that you can still be productive even in the midst of like a big project like moving. Um, and I'm hoping that through my moving series, I can show you guys a, diff a couple of different ways that you can still be productive, still be efficient, um, and kind of break down your um, your moving plan so it's not stressful. I am moving. Let's see. I have the countdown app. I'm the type of person like I love, especially if there's a milestone that I'm I know I'm, I can reach. I like to just give myself a realistic time frame of. I want to be able to make sure I can experience this move um, and not let it pass me by, but let this be an opportunity to really transition into something great quick water break okay so one thing i did not mention and i'll kind of give you guys the story time about it <laughs> so about a month ago my current apartment that you guys watch my empty apartment hall when i first moved to texas um when i moved it was great got a great deal love my i actually do love my apartment and they were raising rent for, for you know, next year because my lease is up in August. And I was just like, mm, even though, like I always say, just because you have the money doesn't mean you need to spend the money. And because, just because I have the money doesn't mean I need to spend the money, I was just like, mm, let me just see if there's anything out there that's similar to what I have, um, but it's either cheaper or in my same price range. And the same apartment locator that I had this time around, she helped me with my next apartment. Like a year ago, like I mentioned you guys, I did, I, I've never lived in Houston. Um, so, and I was moving from New York and I found, I think it's called Smart City Houston. I'm in their apartment locator company and they match you with an apartment locator and that person will shop for apartments for you. It's a free service. The way that they get paid is they get paid commission once you sign a lease. So there's no risk. Like I saw so many apartments. She sent me so many ideas. Even the second time, like I was giving her so many options. She was so accommodating. And like to even think about it now, like that was really free services. Like she didn't, she didn't, she was, it wasn't like I paid a deposit for a consultation or anything like that. It was kind of just like, this is free work. Once I produce and you find the home of your dreams, hopefully you put my name down and let them know. And then she gets a commission. But I love my girl Hannah and she was so sweet um, and I'm so grateful that not only did she help me find my first apartment, she's helped, she helped me find my next. We can go into more details. There'll be, this again, this is gonna be a whole moving series. In this series, I really wanna talk to you guys about kind of like my plan, what am I doing with the next, um, so I move in to my new place in 28 days. So what am I doing with those 28 days? So I move in earlier than, um, my lease because I couldn't like get it the same day or something like that and I I wanted it to lapse a little bit so I can like move um, clean as I go but not have the pressure of like cleaning that same day or whatever I move in on the 12th of August and then my move out date for my current place is August 17th There's four phases to how I'm going to approach moving and moving out and right now I'm going in between of planning it through um, paper planning so I do have some things here even just some notes for me for today's video but also um, on my notion so some part of this video maybe the next part you guys will get an in-depth look into my dashboard for moving in and moving out on notion um, and I'll talk more about notion later but this will kind of be an ins insight peek into one of the digital systems that I love to stay productive for me I'm a visual learner I like to have fun I like to have some creativity and I really feel like notion does that for me so hopefully in the next clip you guys will see a little bit inside of how i'm breaking down this movement and how in 28 days your girl is gonna get it done hey everyone 
So in this portion of the video, I wanted to show you guys my Notion page that I'm using for my move out and move in dashboard. Um, this has really helped me alongside with, of course, my daily um, planning routine and how I kind of structure my days and my weeks. This has helped me not make this move so stressful. So this is Notion. Notion is a project management and note taking software. So what I really like about it is that it's fully customizable. Um, there's so many different things that you can do. Um, and I'm working on creating some templates for you all. So I just want to give you an inside look into my move in and move out dashboard for 2022. So here, right here at the top, ooh, excuse me. So right here at the top is my move in and move out date just to kind of guide me. Um, the first thing I did was an apartment search. So I'm not really going to go into that too much because um, it kind of has like the apartment details. But feel free if you want me to make kind of like a template for you all of this move in and move out dashboard that includes like an apartment or maybe even house search. Um, let me know. I can do that, but I won't go into it into this video. Um, things I must do before August 12th. So this is just a list of things that the apartment um, gave me to do, like transferring over my rental insurance and things like that. Next is the apartment wish list. So these are just things that to keep track of my spending, but also keep track of the things that I really do need for my new apartment is in there. And I'll click in here. So I just have a couple things um, and I'll link them so I can know where they are. Um, but yeah, that's been super helpful. Next is what I need to do um, from the 12th to the 17th. So this is kind of like my move-in plan, just making sure that like, again, I don't want this move to be stressful and I'm literally just moving up the street. So there's no reason for me to just rush the whole process. Um, so there's things for me to do um, and I've just been kind of just writing things out. So this is what it kind of looks like in this page. Um, and you'll see a lot of this come to life um, as it gets closer. Um, housewarming registry. So I'm still working on that. I last minute decided maybe I should do a virtual housewarming um, and maybe even share my registry link with you all. Um, but I'm still thinking about that. I'm still processing that. So yeah. Um, here is kind of like move, the move out process or like how I'm packing and how I'm going through things. I'm not going to lie. I haven't checked things off here. So I'm pretty sure I've done some of these things, um, but it's definitely checked off in my paper planner and everything. Um, so what I did was go through each room and kind of shortly describe like things I need to do. So the kitchen is a big one for me. Um, I really haven't touched my kitchen, just wiped down things. Like general cleaning has happened. Living room, um, I do have a built-in bookshelf in the living room. So just making sure, um, and that does house a lot of my planning supplies. So, um, and then like taking things off the wall that I have in the living room, artwork and things. Bathroom, bedroom, the bedroom has a closet and then I have a hallway closet. Um, and I also have like an entryway closet. Did I mention that? Um, it's kind of like where my laundry is. So I guess that's why I didn't mention it because the closet is like connected to the laundry, whatever. Um, and then the patio. So I do have a patio, but literally all I have to do is just sweep and clean it. Um, and then I do have a chair out there. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but just clean it out. Um, and then laundry and things like that. So this is my move in and move out dashboard for 2022. Very simplistic, but also just has all my ideas. I do a lot of brain dumping in these sheets. Um, and it kind of keeps me sane and you can even add emoji. So I really love Notion. Um, and I definitely will be talking more about this platform in the future.